Ferry Lane, Tottenham, just moments after Mark Duggan had been shot dead by police marksmen. Jurors at today's trial were told it was as dangerous a position as possible for the officers involved after the 29-year-old allegedly got out of the minicab he'd been travelling in with a loaded gun in his hand. Mark Duggan was shot twice. The gun, which was recovered around 15 feet away wrapped in a sock, was loaded with a bullet. The outcry which followed the shooting sparked the Tottenham riots, which led to the worst outbreak of civil unrest in the country for 30 years. The case centres on allegations that the gun had been passed to Mark Duggan 15 minutes earlier by Kevin Hutchinson Foster, who's on trial accused of transferring or selling the weapon, charges he denies. The evidence against Hutchinson Foster is linked to a fight he had in Dalston six days before the fatal shooting, in which he allegedly used the same gun to threaten and beat another man. Hutchinson Foster used a gun to pistol whip the other man. Both of them were hurt and their blood was later found on the handle of the gun. The prosecution says there's only a one in a billion chance that that blood did not belong to them. Both Duggan and the accused's fingerprints were also found on a shoebox in which the gun had been hidden. And it's claimed the two men spoke to each other on the phone as Duggan made the journey to collect the weapon. The prosecution says the culmination of all these facts proves Hutchinson Foster supplied the gun. The trial has now moved on to evidence from the officers who were involved in the undercover operation which ended in Mark Duggan being shot dead. Ronke Phillips, London Tonight, Snaresbrook Crown Court.